Hi learners, this is Sir Bambi and welcome to my class. In this video, we will learn about the different parts of the system unit and let's start. Let's start with the motherboard. A motherboard is the main printed circuit board in a computer. The motherboard is a computer's central communications backbone connectivity point through which all components and external peripherals connect. A motherboard is the main circuit board inside a computer that connects the different parts of a computer together. And the power supply. Power supply is a hardware component of a computer that supplies all other components with power. It is typically designed to convert general purpose alternating current electric power to usable voltage direct current power for the internal components of the computer. Next, the microprocessor. A microprocessor is a component that performs the instructions and tasks involved in computer processing. In a computer system, the microprocessor is the central unit that executes and manages the logical instructions passed to it. It is the center of your computer which processes instructions and communicates with outside devices controlling most of the operation of the computer. And we have the hard disk drive. The hard disk drive is the main and usually most substantial data storage hardware device in a computer. The operating system, software titles, and most other files are stored in the hard disk drive. The hard disk drive is commonly called to as hard drive or hard disk. It is a non-volatile storage device which stores digitally encoded data on a rapid cylinder rotating patterns with magnetic surfaces. The video card. The video card is an expansion card that allows the computer to send graphical information to a video display device such as a monitor, TV, or projector. The video card or a display card is a circuit board in a computer with specialized hardware optimized for displaying high quality graphics at a high rate of speed. Next we have the sound card. A sound card is an expansion card for producing sound on a computer that can be heard through speakers or headphones. Sound card facilitates the input and output of audio signals to and from a computer under the control of a computer program. Next, we have the memory. Computer memory is the storage space in the computer where data is to be processed and instructions required for processing are stored. Memory is a temporary storage area which holds the data and instructions that the system unit or PC needs. Then we have the random access memory. The computer random access memory or RAM is one of the most important components in determining your system's performance. RAM gives applications a place to store and access data on a short term basis. It stores the information your computer is actively using so that it can be accessed quickly. RAM is the main memory of the computer. It can be accessed randomly where any byte can be accessed without touching the preceding bytes. We have the read-only memory. The ROM or the read-only memory is a permanent type of memory. Its content are not lost when the power supply is switched off. The computer manufacturer decides the information of ROM and it is permanently stored at the time of manufacturing which cannot be overwritten by the user. It is a memory used to store programs that boot the computer and perform diagnostics. Ports are openings at the back portion of the system unit where you can connect all the other external devices. And these are the various types of ports. We have the mouse, 
keyboard, microphone, subwoofer right or left, the line out, the line in, the parallel port, the serial port, the VGA port, the DVI port, the Ethernet, and the USB ports. And that ends our lesson for today. Don't forget to subscribe to join my class, like this video for your attendance, and hit the notification bell para hindi ka malate sa class ko. And please follow me in my different social media accounts. This is Sir Bambi and you may now evaporate. See you!